What is up guys? I hope you guys are having a great day today. I know I am. Today I'm going to share with you five tips for your resin printing. I'm going to start off with something that's a little bit simple and a lot of people may think it's common sense and then we're going to be going into something a little more advanced but these five tips are guaranteed to get you on your way to better SLA printing. Let's go. Tip number one. So the first tip we're going to start with today is how are you dealing with bubbles in your resin? Now, in the instructions, it advises you to shake the bottle before you actually pour your resin. Now, as you would know, when you shake the resin bottle, you get a lot of small bubbles and most of the time that isn't an issue. But sometimes the resin tends to get a lot of bubbles that get under your build plate when you start printing. So this tip is one way you may easily get rid of most of the bubbles, not all, when you are pouring your resin to get your print going. The way you do this is you hold the bottle in a vertical position and you swirl it around and you keep swirling it for probably about a minute. And after it's done swirling, you pour the contents out very slowly. This way, all of the bubbles come together in one spot and as you pour slowly, the bubbles remain to the back of the bottle. Give it a go and let me know how that goes. Tip number two. So when you're putting your model on the build plate in Cheeto Box, there's a setting where you will be able to set a skate for your print. This allows you to be able to remove the print very easily because it allows you to put that scraper in that wedge just where you need it to lift the print off of the build plate. Tip number three. Tip number three. Remove your supports when you just finish printing. Don't cure before you remove your supports. It makes it so much easier to remove the supports without having it cured onto your model. Tip number four, when you remove your model, hold on to the build plate and not the assembly. That way when you remove your print, you can mount it back without having to re-level your bed. With a few tries, you can get this down perfectly where you will not have to re-level your bed for a lot of prints. Tip number five, if you do a lot of prints, and you notice that you have a print that has failed, ensure that you have no pieces of resin in the vat before you do another print. And this can easily be done by using a resin comb to remove any small pieces in the vat. So there you have it guys, five tips today to be on your way to successful resin printing. Have a good one.